During this year's Lightning in a Bottle Festival, I had the pleasure to speak with Nassim Haramine, who is one of the most influential physicists in our world today. His pioneering and expansive formulas scientifically prove our interconnected unity as well as our ability to tap into that unity for creating infinite abundance and growth. His research on the control of gravity is a key element in our current evolution, and our ability to harness gravity can dramatically revolutionize healthcare, travel, communication, and free energy for all. Um, so, everybody knows your work in physics. You're pretty popular at this point. Did anyone ever tell you you're the reincarnation of Albert Einstein? <laughs> yes, people have said that many times. I'm very honored. Yeah? And what do you say to that, to those people? Well... Do you, do, did you read up on any of his back life and feel any similar connections to your personal likes that people may not know in public in the public eye that seem to match his... Well, we both know? love nature very much, very yeah. deeply. Yeah. And you know, I think that that was the major part of his inspiration and mine. Yeah. And I think, you know, that anybody that does something significant in, in, in that field, yeah. in science, loves nature. Yes. At a really deep level. What is it about nature that really touches your heart? Um, I can, I can feel the connection to it I can feel my the flow of it being part of my flow and you know coming from it it's like loving your mother you know it's uh, it's an it amazing puts, thing puts you in touch with yourself yes with your deeper roots like the foundation of your existence yeah not just the natural world like on the surface of one planet but yeah. even like the structures in the solar systems and the galaxies and the you yeah. know universes and clusters and all this stuff and that's actually a really good segue you know one of the biggest things you push is the unified field theory and, and uh, can you talk a little bit about that and how it relates to nature and identity in general who, who how would you answer that question who am I uh, I would say I'm a I'm a gathering and and interacting uh, point of information for the universe to learn and and every other point is one too so we are all feeding information to this incredible feedback loop this incredible miracle of nature and uh, participating in it at this deepest level and so is everything else so it's this incredible dance this incredible oscillation and relationship and resonance frequency resonance harmonic resonance frequency that like create this coalition to something more coherent and higher complexity and more advanced so now you have this grasp on the unified field and what are you like looking into like what are you exploring personally in that direction like is there something uh, many there? different things yeah uh, you know the first levels of the unified field I published were confirmed by experimental studies of the radius of the proton the nuclei of an atom but now you know my solution to gravity and um, the strong force and so on lead directly to engineering capabilities of devices to control gravity to extract energy from the vacuum and so on so I do some of that that's and, really and, and, and we are a device to extract that that's for right ourselves. so that's right do you know any way to test or quantify the, the power of mental concentration the power of projection um, is there a way there's to been some experimental studies that were done in that direction it's not obvious and yeah. I, I personally believe from the math and the fractal nature of uh, the universe that there's probably no limit to how much we can do and how yeah. much we can influence yeah. um, might take millennia to get there but we do influence the universe and we increase in complexity and we have more and more influence on the magnetic on the on the morphogenetic field we as well just published papers actually 
it was presented by William Brown in Li Lisbon uh -huh. yesterday that described the bio rhythm of the human body as this um, antenna or transponder that's receiving information and sending information into the vacuum so that consciousness is just a feedback of the information not something that's manufactured in the brain right it's the brain and the body are within the consciousness that's right objects and concepts and so what how what is the single most important thing to shift our planet into you know the golden age next golden age do you think it's global meditation or do you think it's something else like global synchronized meditation or it's, it's a combination of many many things and the earth has been shifting yeah, towards it's been shifting. that yeah. for a long time and then you know we're finally reaching a crescendo yeah uh, but i think it's a combination of every single person like in this festival like putting out an intent and all the people around the world putting out an intent for peace and harmony and new solutions and coming up with w ways to um, you know um, do things differently and so there's many different ways and one of them is the technologies that are gonna emerge now are really gonna reinforce that and can you talk about those technologies and how gravity and the control of gravity is gonna propel them forward um, like could you use gravity to heal the body could you use it to yeah there's many application to healing to energy production to um, all, you know from extracting um, information like even computing and so on like there's many many different applications to starting to understand how to engineer the vacuum and interact with it in a harmonious way with the universe uh, it's like all of a sudden discovering a source of energy you didn't know was there. Yeah. And uh, and like completely tapping into it and utilizing it. To and run. it's all around us. Yeah. Just like before when we didn't know that the electromagnetic field could be utilized to produce <laughs> electricity. Right. Um, we were, you know, in a state of uh, survival that was very different to when we actually realize we can make electricity, we can light up a light bulb, we can get light at night, we can, you know, and we built a whole civilization on this. Yeah. The discovery of exactly what are the forces of gravity and how to utilize them are gonna have even more of an impact on our evolution. So, um, you know, you're an expert in quantum physics. What's one thing that blows your mind about it, about like what you can do? when you really tap into that oneness? Uh, what really blows my mind is that it looks like if you actually were able to completely create a harmonic relationship with even just one proton, you could use it as a wormhole to transport information across the universe instantaneously. Are you talking about mapping space-time in that sense? Yeah, well, space-time is already mapped and it's already connected and the right. equations show that it's already networked. We just got to access the network. It's just like plugging into the fundamental universal yeah. net and getting on the net and all of a sudden being able to transfer information back and forth. Do you do any uh, energy work privately yourself? Like, do you have an energy practice? Like where yes, you rewire I, your body or mind? Uh, yes, I meditate and, you know, I have techniques of meditation, but any, any technique that turns your senses inwards and goes towards the center of your existence is a very beneficial thing to do because yeah. this is where the knowledge is. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And um, for new scientists or explorers of the inner mind and outer reality, what would you recommend to, like, you know, I, I know a little bit of your background. You, you had a challenging breakthrough into the, to the world of science. How would Still you... Still very challenging. How would you tell, um, you know, amp, you know um, new scientists to overcome their fears and get moved forward? What helped you? It takes courage and it takes the courage to believe in yourself yeah and, and it all comes back to the, the yeah, center yeah exactly to know that like what you are getting and 
you know, has validity, and it might be in its, it might not be in its final form, and it yeah. might have some glitch, and it all, yeah. you know. But to keep moving forward and to keep putting a, a foot in front of the other, no matter what yeah. other people are saying, because if you follow your bliss, I mean, if if Einstein listened to everybody else, he would have quit a long time before right. he wrote relativity. You know, even when he wrote it, it took Max Planck to support him in order for him to even get acknowledged that right. something was valid there. But, you know, it's, it's, you, you just have to do it. You have to do it because it gives you joy. Yes. And if it does, then the rest will come in line. Yeah. And um, what's the one thing that is giving you joy? Like, you've, you have all this stuff mapped out. What is the new thing in science that you're like... I need to know this, I need to solve this, you know, oh, I need yeah. to progress this. There's, there's always so much more to learn. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because when you start, you think, okay, I'm going to solve this and then I'm going to, like, retire yeah. or yeah. something, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then when you solve this part, you go, oh, wait, but what about this and what about that? And So, you know, right now I'm writing a paper with Dr. Val Baker on cosmogenesis like the way the universe started it's a different okay. model yeah. than the big bang where protons come out of our event horizon of our universe and then expand to another universe and you know like the exploration of these mathematics and these concepts are leading to new questions and new answers and all this so it's infinite quest so you're living in bliss right now i am yeah and it's not to say that there is not difficult moments. Right. There's plenty of those. Right, right. But underlying all this, there is the sense that I am in my dharma, that I am in my yes. path, yes. and that I'm, you know, I'm contributing what I'm supposed to be contributing to the yeah. world. You know what you're supposed to, to put out. Yeah. And um, is there anything else you'd like to to share that I guess we haven't touched on in terms of, I guess. The the, 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 the the frontier in the sky you know because isn't that the next step to, to explore the galaxy and the solar system are you yeah. excited about doing that absolutely yeah gravitational control is the next step and many scientists not just me are saying that including you know I mean um, Stephen Hawking doesn't directly talk about gra gravitational control but he talks about getting off the planet because we can't just stay on the surface forever you yeah. know things happen to planets that are not right. so great for right. humans right and so in order for our civilization to move on to the next level we have to learn to fly and, and we and that and that I, I mean personally i think it's we have to kind of come together before we do that or do you feel like i think that it comes all together, together. yeah Synchronous. synchronistically yeah. because you know we're reaching those levels where we're ready to fly yeah and we're starting to get that awareness that that's possible and at the same time you know the technology is coming to support yeah. it so it um it's kind of an amazing thing that this yeah. universe is so incredibly coherent and coordinated and in fact, the complexity is so high, we think it's random, but yeah. actually we find that there's coherency and, and organization at every level. Yeah. And, in and we're not even able to produce any technology that's completely random. Yeah. Uh, so there's always patterns. It's like a, you're always at the right place at the right time is what you're saying, basically. Right. Yeah. And, and if you flow with the universe if you flow with the joy if you flow and if you listen carefully to the what's going on internally you'll find that you increase synchronicities you increase yeah. things come to you yeah. that never used to yes and it becomes easier and easier yeah. to feel part of the flow you know you still have days where you feel out of sync for yeah but um, hopefully most of the days you do yeah you get closer and closer to that perfect yeah one flow harmony right yeah right right uh, that's awesome well I'd like to just end it on that no that's okay. a perfect note to end it okay. on okay thank you so much thank you so much and thank thanks you. for your project yes. it's great to make people aware and to solidify our energies together to make a change yes thank you thank, thank you, you.